I'm a big fan of Brad Holmes' draft strategy for the Detroit Lions, as we all should be as Lions fans. He's the best GM we've ever had, and he's the best drafter this Detroit Lions team has ever seen. So this week, when he was at his press conferences down at the owners' meeting, the media is asking him about free agency, which he said he really thought this was his best free agency class. And they asked him about his draft strategy. What is his draft strategy? And we all noticed it the last couple of years. He never goes after position and need its best players available. And I like going after best player available. It's smarter than going after position of need. I'm going to give you an example here before we get into my three round at a Detroit Lions mock draft. Back in 2020 when Bob Quinn was our GM, when it was all doom and gloom around this Detroit Lions team before Brad Holmes, before Dan Campbell, before it just became a good thing to be a Detroit Lions fan, Bob Quinn was our GM and we're sitting there in the top three. We need a cornerback. Cornerbacks are position in need. We just got done trading Darius Slade to the Philadelphia Eagles. Jeff Okuda is supposed to be a top 10 cornerback pick and we reach for him at, and take him with the number three pick and he didn't really work out we all know that he's not on our team anymore and that was three or four years ago when you're drafting somebody in the top five you need them to be a focal point of your team and that's why you do go after best player available what if Aaron Donald was sitting there that's another thing when Martin Mayhew was drafting our team we had we drafted Eric Ebron and Aaron Donald goes right behind us so you go for position and need instead of best player available, you might be missing out on a Hall of Famer because you went after that position of need. That's why you go after best player available. I really believe that. And that's why I'm glad Brad Holmes is our GM. And that's why I really believe that our drafts the last couple of years with Brad Holmes being our GM have been great because he's going after the best player available, best player that's going to help us impact winning, help us win games and help us win the division and hopefully help us win championships. Now let's go on to my three round mock draft for this Detroit Lions team. So I'm at 29. I use the PFF mock draft simulator with trades. The other one I use, which is that one's better, but you got to subscribe for it to be using all day. I'm not trying to subscribe and pay 25 bucks a month just to use the mock draft thing. So I'm using the free one with trades. I got a bunch of crazy trade offers, but in my mock draft, I'm not going to accept any trades unless they're official. So at 29, we all know I want to go, I wanted to go edge rusher, but last week, ever since, uh, or before the Cam Sutton news, I was like, we can draft whoever we want. But I honestly thought edge rusher would have been smart to go after to match up like a Chop Robinson or a Darius Robinson on the opposite side of Aiden Hutchinson, make your strengths stronger. But with the Cam Sutton news, I really think cornerback two is the big, biggest position of need. So at 29, we got Nate Wiggins sitting there. We had Byron Murphy. We had Jair Newton, the defensive tackle for Illinois. We had Xavier Worthy. We had a Donnie Mitchell sitting there. And then I think we had an offensive tackle sitting there, which I, all those positions I would be cool with taking. But I took Nate Wiggins because all the Cam Sutton news last week, I really believe cornerback two is our biggest position to need. According to Brad Holmes, he thinks Amik Robinson could go to the outside. I'd rather have Amik Robinson play the inside slot where he specializes in, but we'll see what goes on. I had Nate Wiggins at 29. And then when we get into the second round, I think we had more defensive tackles, a safety available, but I just drafted the defensive back with Josh Reynolds going to the Denver Broncos. Wide receiver is a position to need. And if we add this wide receiver to this offense, it would be awesome because it's our offense just adding another toy adding another gadget i think xavier leggett's an underrated wide receiver in this draft class he is explosive he kind of reminds me of debo samuel i know he i know they both went to south carolina but the way they play they're physical they run fast they're it's just i would be a wide receiver to add to this offense to have jmo amon Ra, and xavier leggett and then you have sam laporta jameer gibbs <laughs> And David Montgomery, that offense would be unstoppable, and you would just give Jared Goff a plethora of toys to work with on offense, and you shouldn't be stopping that offense at all. And then this is where I'm very, very thrilled with in the third round to add depth to that offensive line. Cedric Van Pran Granger, center, guard from the University of Georgia, the fourth-ranked guard or center in the draft to get him in the third round to add some depth to that offensive line that's already one of the tops in the league. I would be absolutely thrilled with these top three or the, the three rounds, Nate Wiggins, Xavier Leggett, and Cedric Van Pran Granger. Those would be three great picks for this team. But like I said, I didn't really go after best player available. I kind of went position of need because best player available would have been Jahair Newton out of Illinois at 29. But hey, we just drafted, or we just signed DJ Reader. We got a Lee McNeil in there. We don't need the 
I mean, it would be cool. You're making your strengths stronger, but at the same time, cornerback too. I don't want to be getting cooked out there by a wide receiver that shouldn't be going off against us. So Nate Wiggins, Xavier Leggett, and Cedric Van Pran Granger are my three round mock draft for this Detroit Lions team, and I'm very thrilled with that haul. Hopefully we get a good haul like that in the real draft. I'm confident in Brad Holmes. I'm confident in this team. One pride signing out. Hope you guys were able to get like the video. Hope you guys like, comment if, what you think about my picks. Subscribe to the channel. Please keep helping this grow. We're closing in on a thousand, and that's been a goal of mine for the last couple of years, and it's gonna be awesome once I hit it. One pride signing out. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.